Hey guys, it's Enigma Hood. And I didn't want to make this video, but um, one of my subscribers, uh, he asked me to make this video. He wanted to hear what I had to say. And upon reflection, I decided, you know, I, I really should say something about this. Even though I, it, it makes me sick to my stomach. And that's, that's actually the reason why I didn't want to make the video. It makes me sick that, that this kind of shit happens, okay? We're talking about Amanda Todd, obviously. Um, she's this young girl who committed suicide due to bullying. If you don't know all the details, I'm going to put it on in the description. You can go check it out. Um, whenever I hear about this kind of stuff, you know, I, it makes me so mad. It makes me so outraged. I just, I just want to start punching the fuck out of those bullies. You know, and, and I'll say this right now, right from the start. Every single one of those bullies must be found, and they must be punished severely. Now, if I had my way, they'd all be killed. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, they're all responsible for her death. They all need to die for their, their uh, bullying. You know, but we do not live in that kind of country. This happened in Canada, though. Uh, but Canada, no, they, they won't execute them, even though that's exactly what they deserve. They should all be tortured and, 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 and torn apart in the most painful way possible so, they, so that they understand the suffering that she must have felt. And to use them as an example of, if you do this kind of bullshit, this is what we're going to do to scumbags like you. You fucking worthless pieces of shit. I do not stand for bullying in any form. You know, I, I see it, and I do not sit by and allow it to happen from anyone. Enigma Hood does not take any shit from other people, and he does not allow people to give other people shit. Now, I believe that the vast majority of bullying occurs because other people stand around like a bunch of fucking retards and do absolutely nothing about it. Bullying occurs when there's an imbalance of power and you're out there with your fucking loser friends and then you decide to make fun of someone because you think it's funny. The only way that these dumb Neanderthal fucks can understand anything is for them to suffer in the most uh, abhorrent way imaginable. Because that is how human beings are. We only understand things through suffering and pain and misery. It took that damn video for us to realize what was going on. You know, I, 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 I wish I could have reached, I could have known about this girl before this happened. I understood, you know, what was going on. You know, what can I do? I'm only one man. But there's something that we can all do to help prevent this kind of thing from happening. If you see somebody bullying somebody else, say something and tell them to stop. And if they don't stop, you make them stop. You make them stop by calling, by calling some kind of authority, by uh, doing whatever you need to do, okay? I, I don't even need to talk about it. Do what you need to do, okay? You're intelligent people. You don't need me telling you what you need to do. You know what you need to do. And if, I'll tell you what I have done in the past. Uh, there, I was once um, at a college dorm. And for some stupid reason, they put me in with a bunch of freshmen. And I was a lot older than them. And uh, there are these, uh, there's this one guy who was, you know, he's kind of like a, like a wacky, silly guy. He's a very easy target for bullying because, you know, he, it, I don't think they intend to bully him, but they, they think it's funny to mess with him. And since he's laughing and being jocular, then they think it's okay. And that's the, the critical problem, usually. You know, you're allowing these people to mess around with you, but they don't know their limits. They don't know the line that they cannot cross. Once, they were fucking with him, and uh, I did not hear about this until I, I was away for the weekend. And then when I came back, he told me what happened. They were messing around with him, and one of them got him into a chokehold. And, and he passed out because he has problems with his heart. And he was out for a few minutes. They did, they, all, they, all these fucking losers did was they stood around him, laying in bed, waiting for him to come to. No one called the p police. No one called an ambulance. Nobody c told anyone else. They all just stood there like a bunch of fucking morons and let him lay there unconscious 
for several minutes. When I came, when, when he told me about this, when I came back, I was so fucking pissed. I confronted this guy. I confronted the guy who did this. And at first he was like, yeah, you know, we, we put him, I got him into a sleeper hold and, uh, you know, he passed out. He thought it was real funny. I had a straight fucking face. I was not joking around. I did not give any, I made it very clear that I was not going to put up with this kind of thing. I said, there's not going to be any more of that. From now on, no more sleeper holds. If there is, if there's anything like this happens again, there's going to be a huge problem. Because if this guy, if there was anything like this, what do you do at that point? You take it up with an authority. You tell the, the housing department, whatever. You take it up with the college. You tell the police. That's what you do. If there's any kind of problem. You take it up with a higher authority. You keep on going. You don't let these fucks get away with it. And then he was very uh, 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 indignant about me saying that to him. He did not like me telling him what to do. And he said, well, you're not, uh, you're not um, in charge here. You don't get to tell me what to do. And I said, I don't need to be in charge here to tell you not to hurt someone else. And if it happens again, we're going to have a major problem. I didn't want to make serious threats, but I made sure that this was not going to happen again. Later on, he came to me personally and apologized and said it was not going to happen again because he knew that I'm not the one that you're going to fuck with. Okay, no fucking way. There are other instances of where I stood up for people. It has nothing to do with me, but I did the right thing because that's what you're supposed to fucking do. Now, there can be a very fine border between getting yourself involved in somebody else's problem and doing the right thing. No matter what, always act in your own best interest. So don't put yourself in harm's way in order to stop bullying. Do the right thing. Report it. Okay? Report it. It's as simple as that. And don't stand for it. You're not going to be hurting yourself by telling someone, knock it off. And if they don't knock it off, then you take it up with an authority. It's as simple as that. You know, this poor girl, she was harassed by a bunch of scumbags. Uh, you know, and then she had to, to kill herself like that. I can't imagine how often this happens. You know, and doesn't go reported. The only reason why I found out about this was because it was reported on CNN. How often does this fucking happen? More than it should. This should never happen. Alright? I'm disgusted, and there needs to be a serious criminal investigation. We need to pressure the, the local authorities to find these people. Go through the chat logs, find, look through the emails. And, and, the, and the Skyping conversations and see her friends list. They need to go, by, go through it with a fucking steel tooth comb and root out these fucks and hold them accountable. This is Enigma Hood signing off.